Hello everyone and welcome back to English Valley Cafe. My name is Anne. In this lesson, I'm going to help you speak or sound more natural when you're speaking English. I'm going to focus on the stop T. So as you know that a lot of the English words that end with a T, when we're actually speaking, we don't pronounce that T sound. Um, and that's what we call a stop T. So today in this lesson, I've picked a few words such as prepositions and verbs, etc. that ends with a T and we'll practice how to make that stop T sound and we'll put these words in the sentence and I'll show you how you can say it more naturally. So you ready? Let's get started. So let's take a look at these words here. At, get, haven't, that, what, and not. Now, as I was saying these words, you heard me pronounce that t sound. That's the true T sound. But what happens is when you want to sound more natural, often that true T sound becomes a stop T. And what does that mean? It just means that we're not going to make that t sound. So we're going to stop. It's like the air is going to stop right over here before you even pronounce that t sound. So for example, the first word, if I were to say it with a stop T, it would sound like at, at. Okay, so I'm like, uh, I'm about to say that T, but I stopped the, that um, air from coming out right in my throat here before I even say it, at. Say it with me here, at. Good. The next one, get, get. Okay, so we're not saying get, but get. Eh. Okay, it's like, right, I'm about to say that, t, but I don't because I stop it right over here before I even say it. get, get, good. Next one, haven't, 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 that, right? I don't say that, but that, at, that, that. What, what, not what, that would be the true T, but the stop T, what, what, and then not, not. Now let's put these words into a sentence and you'll see what I mean that when we use that stop T as we're saying these sentences, it sounds more uh, natural and you'll be able to speak English much more effortlessly. So let's try it here. Let's take the word at. All right, so he's at the office. Okay, so notice right here, I'm the word at. I'm not saying he's at the office, but rather he's at the office. He's at the office. Again, he's at the office. Okay. I'm at home. I'm at home. So again here, at, I'm not saying I'm at home, but I'm at home. At home. I'm at home. Let's do the next sentence with get. So here we have get it. Get it. So again, we're going to have that stop T, like get. Get. And then that T is going to change to a D, so it's going to sound like the, the, and then it's going to lean to that I, the short I sound in it, so it, it, get it, the, 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 get it, I get it, I get it. Let's try another one. Can you get me some flowers? Can you get me some flowers? So again, that stop T right there for get, get me, get me, get me. Can you get me some flowers? Can you get me some flowers? Get me. Let's try it with haven't, haven't. So here, this is the abbreviation for have not. And when we change it into abbreviation and we're linking Again, that stop T right there, it's going to make it sound like haven't, haven't, then, haven't. I haven't taken the exam. I haven't taken the exam. Haven't taken. 
haven't taken. I haven't taken the exam. I haven't taken the exam. Let's move on to the word that. So here we have, is it that one? Is it that one? So again here, that, that stop T right there, that one, that one. Is it that one? Is it that one? Good, again, is it that one? How about the next one here? I'll get that for you. I'll get that for you. So that, and then it goes on to link it to the f, the f um, in four. That four, that four. I'll get that for you. I'll get that for you. Notice here, if I were to say it with that true T in that, it's gonna be uh, really awkward. So it's gonna sound like, I'll get that for you. You see how it's just, doesn't flow very naturally. Okay, so I'll get that for you. I'll get that for you. How about the next one? What? What? Okay, so what do you do? What do? What do? What do you do? Do you do? Okay, what do you do? What do you do? So if you're asking somebody about their uh, job, their occupation, you might ask, what do you do? What do you do? Okay, so again, that stop T is right there. What do, what do? Let's try this one here with the negative word not, All right, not. So again, that stop T is gonna be there. So it's not that bad. It's not that not that okay so not and then I'm gonna link it to the f in that not that bad not that bad it's not that bad it's not that bad so I hope this will help you see that difference um, when you use that stop T when you're speaking it sounds so much more natural and you're almost speaking without putting effort into it it just flows like a water okay um, I know this is really difficult especially with all these um, stop T sound and then you have to link it to the next uh, sound whether it's a vowel or a consonant um, if you have to go back to this video and try to practice a little bit more what you can do is just take the two words like for example in the uh, sentence here it's not that bad just take the word that and bad and try to link it so that bad that bad that bad and then add the other words in the sentence so it's not that bad it's not that bad all right so that breaking it down into chunks and practicing a little bit and then adding another word that will help you to um, build up that confidence and also it'll make it easier for you to practice. All right, so if you have any questions about this video, leave it down in the comments below. Um, or if there are other sounds that you have trouble linking, let me know down in the comments. Um, I did get a few uh, requests on linking like consonant to consonants and um, vowels to vowels etc and slowly I'll try to um, upload videos on that topic uh, of uh, linking all right so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here or if you have not subscribed yet be sure to subscribe down over here to uh, English Valley Cafe and hit that bell icon so that you can notify every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye!